everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray. It's about 26 degrees outside, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic, episode 22. Last time, we received a journal which told us to go to Manan. Where, where, where is this? Is this one? Yes. Uh, Jino Harden say to come to see Hulas on Manan. Come alone or not at all. So I'm wondering, do I have to actually go alone, or can I actually bring companions? I guess I've actually got to go alone, but... Who knows what waits for us on Manan? Well, I sort of know because I did this ages ago, didn't I? Didn't I? Uh, right, Manan is this one. I like Manan because if you've not played Swotor, it's practically all water. And now we shall leave. Bye, Korriban. I might call you Dantooine then. Eh, kind of the same sort of colouring. Bye bye. Hope we never have to return again. Hyperspace. It almost, do you know, on the left, it almost looks like he's trying to reach for a cup of coffee. I always think that, but he's not. I don't know why. I just have a weird, messed up mind, you know. You know, I am sleeping. Probably dreaming about where the next star map on Manan is. Look at the veins on my face. Oh, it's actually underwater. Oh. Alrighty. Oh, that actually looked wow. That actually looked really good high res. But it's not. It's not high res. But it looked really good. Ah. I wonder if there's any more of these sort of ports around the planet. There's bound to be. It can't just be this one. And thus. We have arrived. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. Yeah, but then we kind of have a port. You know, although I suppose the summit would be created before the port was made. Maybe, maybe, maybe Manan was originally like like our planet, but then it was just flooded over. I don't really know the history of Manan very much. Also, when she waits to speak, it's almost like she's waiting for a cue. It's like she's just there once the video ended. Uh, another vision. Um... Looked like the star map was underwater. Oh no, I've lost my mouse. My mouse isn't here. Oh god, oh god. Okay, we'll have to just do it this way. Uh, maybe the land was once above the surface. It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alrighty, journal entry added. Right, do we actually have to go alone? I don't know, I kind of want to bring two I'll bring two people with me, but who shall I bring with me? Uh, there's also this little girl still here as well. Shall I go and see what I can figure out with her? Should we see? Let's see what we can figure out. Hi. Yeah, um... Uh... Um... Tried to learn such a strange language again. You said something before, what has gone decent? Points at you. Something about me. Don't yes. Abu the girl smiles and, no, no. and pats her chest. Yes, Gondi means you like Mucho it. Shaka <laughs> you like it. You like me. I understand. Salimo. Uh, Naabs. You said that when I first found you. Kipuna. Bona. Uh, means hit. Is that it? Kipuna. Bona na ki Slaps her leg. So abs is to hurt. Naabs means not hurt. Is that it? Don't keep. I understand. No, I won't Don't hurt you. Keep an um. Seriously, there's more. Why is there so much to this? Um, yum. <laughs> what kind of word is that? It means tasty. Gus's puzzle no points towards no. elsewhere on the ship. It's part of the ship. A room. Selima she Wanga mimics an actor which looks like she's chewing something. To chew, to bite. No, I don't get it. Donkey. Uh, nuggies. What is that? All one Kipuna. phrase. Bona na Thanks for the moment. And stabs. Oh. The floors. I mean the floor. Kipuna. Bonanakichu. I was on my hand by my mouth. You're not speaking now. Nagus means now. 
Nah, no, it's not now or before. Kikuna, bona na. Let's try that one again. Oh, you want something from elsewhere? Uh, you want food? You want food? There we go. You want some food? You're hungry. Uh, to bed. What do you mean? So a mouth. You am I supposed? To, uh, no. You want to tell me a story? Just point at you. So to bed means tell me about. Uh, communicate with Sasha in her language. Yes, because I'm suddenly going to be expert in Mandalorian. Um, why are you hiding on my ship? Sasha, now uh, You came to the ship before. You were very scared. Why? Uh, you left the Mandalorians and hid here on the ship? You don't want to leave. The Ebonhawk is your home. Um, the Ebonhawk is not your home. Not your first home, anyway. Tell me about your home before, Tibet, whatever. Thanks for a long moment, Dantooine. Maybe someone on Dantooine remembers you. God obviously doesn't understand. Well, we've made some progress! Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we've made some kind of progress. W w woot, I, I guess. Fine, fine, let's take this time. Let's have a little bit of Zalba. And let's have a little bit of Bastila. Why not? Why not? It's gonna be a weird combination having Zalbar with me, but you know, it's it, it'll be fun, hopefully. And you can both level up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level up, auto level up. You're not really light side or dark side, although you're very to the light. We shall change that. There we go. I shouldn't really auto level them up, but you know me. Right, open sesame. Entering Atto City Security Zone. Cameras activated. Lovely. I, I assume there would be cameras. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. It's like he was nodding to that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'd love to. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. You shouldn't, no. Uh... I would like to... Oh, no. Oh, why did the Sith upset you so much? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Um... The Sith and the Republic coexisting peacefully? Wow. Relativity. Re relatively. Peacefully? Relatively. <laughs> Not hardly. Just look in their eyes. You can see they'd like nothing more than to kill each and every one of us. Personal like. Uh, it is the work of the dark side. If you say so, Master Jedi. It's very aggravating. Sometimes I just want to take one of them and... Oh, and there's nothing we can do, though. The Selkath want to maintain their neutrality, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Kolto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. Uh... Have you seen an ancient star map? A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, tell me about Atto City. Um, it's big. Real big. No Actually, kidding. it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders, and as a base of operations to export Kolto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Uh, why haven't they joined the Republic? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Kolto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Kolto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. 
They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Ah, uh, never mind. I must go. Of course. If you have any other questions, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, have yeah, a yeah, pleasant yeah. stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care what you just said. You probably said something very important, but oh well. Uh, right. I need to try and get out of these clothes as well. I need to try and find some. I don't know, kind of. I don't know, like like Sith robes, but powerful robes. Maybe I don't really know. It's just... well, I I don't want to be wearing Kalanor's battle armor because I want to be able to use force powers because force powers are pretty strong. But I can't use force powers unless I'm wearing like robes or something, which is kind of just an odd restriction. But just look at look at all this damage resist. Look at all this damage resistance I have. It's just. <sighs> It is boiling hot. I'm sweating like mad. Um, but I, I thing is, I've got a fan as well, and I have to turn that off to make to make this video. So you know, once 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 this video is over and done with, I'm turning that fan right back on. Uh, have you got anything for me, maybe? Uh, Grizzly Human, and welcome to Atto City Visitor Preserve Original Stand. We're here to provide visitors with all manners of industrious treats and products provided right here on Manan. We carry all manner of food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see your inventory. Lovely. Med packs. Yes, I will buy. Oh. Okay, I'll buy a whole bunch of repair kits because they will come in handy later on. That should be enough to last me quite a while. Uh, I don't really need the... I might, I might as well buy some random uh, original repair kits. And I don't really, do I want to buy some computer spikes. Yeah, I bought some. Uh, do you have any... No, you don't have any robes or anything. Oh, that's annoying. Righto, let's just move on then. Open Sesame. There's a couple of frame rate drops when I'm making this video. For some reason, it's jittering, which is... Annoying. Don't know why it's doing that. Uh, Basil seems to have something on her mind. Don't speak to her. I'll speak to you later. Maybe later. Seriously, what is all this jittering? Stop jittering! Why? Why are you doing this? Uh, let's go out to this courtyard. See if there's anything out here. Because I have no idea where we're going at all. Actually, where did the journal say we had to go? We had to go. Uh, see Hulas on Manan. Wow. That now is down to all of Manan. Oh, maybe then the visitor center. Hulas, 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 Hulas. Nope, you're Jolin, whoever you are. Uh, oh, this is a pretty monument. This is very pretty. Um, I don't know where we're going at all. God help me, why? Uh, security droid. Obey the laws here on Manan, human. Obey the laws here on Manan, human. Okay. Uh, ooh, port officer. Hello, um... Don't worry, I'll f Oh, no. Pathetic laws of pathetic fish don't concern me. Your dislike of us only seems matched by our dislike of you. Personal feelings do not factor in our legal systems, however, and all must obey our laws. The single most important law on Manan is very simple. Coulter smuggling is punishable by death. If you're carrying any unprocessed Koto, you better have a permit. The other rule is also very simple. Keep the peace. Here on Manan, we maintain a carefully neut neutrality. And we react very harshly to people who jeopardize our neutral status. Any confrontations between Sith and Republic are dealt with swiftly and decisively. Is this understood? Uh, I understand. There's a docky fee of 100 credits. You have to pay this fee each time you dock Manan, or you will not be permitted into Arto City. Uh, make it 50 credits and you got a deal. The amount of fee is legislated by the Manan Board Trade of Tourism. I'm not liberty to handle this matter. Um, very well, it's a docking fee. Yeah, you thank me. Wah, 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 wah. It's only 100 credits, I've got like 5,000, so I'll live. Um, I, I don't know, where, 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 where will we go? So I speak to you, see what you've got to say? You're definitely not Selkath. Yeah, what do you want? Um, what are you doing here? I travel for the galaxy looking for Zack players to challenge myself. I try to build a deck good enough for the championship. Are you interested in the game? Sure, I'll play. Uh, not that I'll do very well, but, you know, uh, maximum wager, let's just do... 150, not that I will win. Uh, what should we get rid of? Let's get rid of... Have I got any doubles? I do have doubles. Let's get rid of you. Let's add you. Um, let's get rid of... You and... Add you. Yeah, let's go with that. See what we get. Uh, right, flip, wait, flip hand card, what's this? Oh, this, flip it, okay. Uh, and turn. Ooh, you got ten, that's not nice. And turn. Uh, and turn. Damn it! Ah, oh, come on. 
Right, come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 13, because remember, you got to get to 20. Uh, come on, don't be too high. Oh, come on! That's not fair. Why do you do this to me? You're rigging it, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're rigging it. 14. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I got two. Plus two. Yeah, tie. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. 11 each. 20. Wonderful. Don't you dare. Don't you dare win. Oh, come on. This game hates me. Uh, come on, give me something low. No! That was a good game! It was closer than I would have thought. No, it wasn't! Are you interested in another? Not right now. Yeah, 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 go away. It's usually a game of luck. Seriously, the AI always beats me. Again, you're jittering. You were fine before. Why, why, are, you, why are you jittering? Let's, let's do a spinny thing. Right, you gonna stop jittering? You only stop jittering when I go through a door. I don't know why it jitters, it's it's annoying. But once I enter another area, it stops jittering. Which is weird. Hopefully that'll be fixed for the next time, but... You know. Uh, security droid, not that I need you. Uh, docking bay... Oh! Leaving Arctic City Security Zone. Camera's deactivated. Oh! Yeah, 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 you can go away. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, where? No problem. Didn't work. Well, no, I'm not gonna be leaving anywhere, unfortunately. Ah, what about in here? Can I get through here? Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't even tell me you reactivated the cameras back there. So why, why, why are you caring now? Go away! Oh, oh my God! I moved like an inch, and all of a sudden the cameras are activated again. I'm gonna move again, and the camera's gonna be deactivated. Thank you. You don't have. To yes, thank you. Uh, well, that's not my ship. Oh, a Sith soldier. Hello. Don't have time to listen to your stories. Got a full shipment of Kalto ready to load before my shift is over. <laughs> We've got all the proper Kalto training permits, so back off. <laughs> I guess we'll try this side of the station, perhaps, and maybe we'll find what we need. I always go the wrong way. Oh. There is nothing this way. Okay then, what, what have I missed then? What have I missed? Um, I can't go in there because it's a private hangar. Been there, there's nothing there, and there's nothing on the even hawk area. So I guess we are going to the west central area. Alright, I guess we'll go back there then. Who are you though? Nabasa. Greetings, forgive me this season's an old question off water, but might you have any exotic species for sale? Nothing dangerous, mind you. Oh, exotic species? What sort of exotic species? Anything non sentient and non carnivorous will do, though creatures like that are easy to manage, I prefer. That is, un is that understandable? Uh, no, I don't have anything for you. Well, if you do come across something potentially interesting, please remember me. My name is Nubasa. I hope to see you again. What do you do? Eat them? He probably does, actually. Alright, uh, let's look at the map here. We didn't go all the way, did we? Because we couldn't. Um... How do, how do we get... How do we get any further, then? I don't know. I don't know! Oh, I can go this way! Oh! Okay, well, I feel kind of stupid now that I completely ignored this area. Okay, okay. Uh, Arho, where are you, Arho? You must be around here somewhere. Um, Selkath, Selkath. Sith, yeah. Arho, 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 Arho. No, that's just Selkath and some travellers. Some very poorly textured travellers. The central courtyard, shall we make our way there? I am so lost on Manan. I'm so lost on Manan. That's gonna be the title of this episode. Lost on Manan! Ooh, what's going on here? <gasps> Turf War! Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. The Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. He now would. it is you who underestimate our resolve. 
Mm, I'm not going to get involved in that. Oh, you are ho. Are you are ho? No, you're Hulas. Okay. Shady Rodan. Rodian. Whatever. The game's jittering again. Classic, classic. Where are you, Aho? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, let's speak to Hulus. A human? That's okay, I thought But you choose to speak with me? Am I so different? Do you think I have answers that others do not? Uh, that's a rather strange greeting. These are strange times. The Sith and Republic battle to control the galaxy, but their war destroys what they both seek to possess. The war sows fear and confusion. People are lost. They want guidance, direction. They have questions. They want and they want answers. This is why I'm here. I too seek answers. Answers? Answers to what? The Republic, the Sith, the war, everything, nothing. Answers are always hardest to find when the questions are unclear. Yet that does not stop us from searching. Who are you? The name? There is power in names. Yet in the end. A name alone means nothing. That means less than nothing. I'm Hulas, a traveller from the world of Duro. And what is your name, human? My name is Climarsh. Climarsh. Now we don't. So now we know something about each other, but really, we still know nothing. What do you want from me, human? Uh, Seni Vec gave me a message to see you, but you're not. Wait, are you the person I need to speak to? Seni Vec. This name means nothing to me. Are you certain this person told you and your companions to come and see me? That is very strange. Obviously, there must be some mistake, or maybe this is a joke. I doubt anyone named Seni Vec told you to bring your companions and come to speak with me. I knew it. I knew it. Can I dismiss you? Um, never mind. Can I? Can I dismiss you from here? I kind of hope so. Um. No, 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 no. Party selection. Uh, you go away. You go away too. Okay, right. Let's speak to you now. What, is it? Is it really you had to speak to? I thought it was. I I thought it was um. Oh, where's it gone? Where's the mission gone? Ah. Yeah. Hulas. Oh, so what, what? What name was I saying then? I don't know. Anyway. You return. Was our business so unfinished that we last spoke? What is it you want? Zenny Vec gave me a message to see you. Zenny did not think you would come, but I knew better, Climarsh. It is good that you have come alone. For if you ever come with others, I will not speak to you of these things. I am Hulus of the... whatever. A secret society of bounty hunters. For a thousand generations we have existed, but always hidden beneath an impenetrable veil. I've never heard of you. If you ever have, we are shadow, darkness, and night. We are less than a whisper or a thought. We have managed to keep our existence a secret far longer than most could ever imagine. If you are ever foolish enough to tell anyone about this meeting or the Jiren Hardens' existence, they would not believe you. They would probably think you are paranoid or mentally unstable. Not even those closest to you can know what we have approached you. If you ever speak to me around any of your companions, I will not discuss the Jiren Hardin. Do you understand, Climash? You can't impose rules on me. If you do not comply, then this opportunity will be lost. Most people have never heard of this Geno Hard de Haradium. They never see us. Never know what we are there. Do not even know we exist. If you do not follow our rules, I will leave you and you will be like the others. You will never see us again. The Geno Haradium. Yeah, we'll never. <laughs> will be nothing but a figment of your imagination. If you swear to keep our existence a secret, you will learn of AA, Forbidden Society. Known only to a handful of thought throughout the galaxy. If not, you will simply vanish. The choice is yours. Very well. I'll keep your secret. Excellent, Climarsh. We have high hopes for you within the guild. If you prove yourself worthy, listen closely, and I will give you the first glimpse into our secret world. We're playing the secret world. We Gino Haradian are an ancient guild of elite bounty hunters. For thousands of years, we have been at work throughout the galaxy, eliminating our targets in near total secrecy. How does anyone hire you if nobody knows you exist? In the highest corridors of the power, a handful of people know we exist and how to contact us. Of course, these people are smart enough to keep this knowledge in carefully guarded secret. And on very rare occasions, we are seeking new clients. One of our guild masters will approach a powerful political figure and offer our services when the time is right. Not right. Uh, but I suppose right makes sense too. Um, what does this have to do with me? By killing Kalonord, you have shown you have great potential. The Geno Haradian, Haradian could use someone like you. I keep saying it different every time. If you are willing, and you are there, and your work for us could be great aid to the Republic. 
How would killing innocent people help the Republic? Innocent people? Our victims are far from innocent, and a General Haraden will only accept a contract if the target's death suits our greater goals, goals that often match those of the Republic. The General Haraden have a vested interest in preserving the Republic, and is a perfect cover for our work. We operate behind the scenes, manipulating events throughout subtle machinations, whatever. Do you think the Republic has persisted over for 15,000 years by mere accident? If not for our influence, distasteful as our methods may be to some, the Republic would have collapsed long ago. We understand the bureaucracy of the Republic. We have learned how to alter the course of political events under the existing regime. We have no wish to see the Republic fall. Uh, what's in this for me? As I said earlier, your efforts will help the Republic, and by aiding us you will soon earn, soon earn the right to join an exclusive organization with the power to alter the very course of galactic history. And of course, there is the simplest reason of all. A General Haradian reward their agents very, very well. Okay, what do I have to do to join? As you can imagine, joining the General Haradian is not a simple process. To begin, we will need proof of your loyalty and your competence. When you feel you are ready, I will give you a task. A target you must be eliminated. Of course, you will have to come alone whenever you wish to discuss the General Haradian business. Uh, I'm ready to prove myself worthy. Killing Kalanod was an impressive display of your skills, but there are more. But there is more to the Jenna Harden than mere killing. To preserve the secrecy of order, our agents must be discreet. You must be able to find and eliminate a target without drawing undue attention. You can never mention your assignments to others, not even your closest allies. Also, you cannot ask people for information about your target. You must complete your mission using only the information I will provide. I understand. Who is my target? We will begin with something simple. Your first mission is to eliminate either, either of two targets. A Grand Slaver named Zulan Centaur or a Rodian anti-Republic terrorist named Logao. Uh, tell me about Log Logao. Logao is a radical! He wants to destroy the Republic <laughs> through terrorist acts. Sorry, I had to do a Simpsons hit and run reference to radical entertainment. Uh, he is responsible for over two dozen rom bombings, leaving hundreds of civilians dead. He was recently captured and is being held prisoner in a Republic base here on Manan, awaiting transport to Coruscant for trial and a chance to publicly voice his radical beliefs. We do not want him to give him that chance. You must find a way to kill him before he leaves for Coruscant, but you must be subtle. It must look like an accident or an unexplainable death. The public would be glad to get rid of Lord Gao. So they would, so they won't investigate his death closely. As long as he isn't struck down by a weapon in his cell, a General Haradan will be satisfied. Tell me about Zulan. Zulan was a common intergalactic slaver who tried to kidnap my daughter, the, 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 the daughter of a Coruscant senator. He failed to and the girl was recovered, but Zulan himself escaped. He will probably try another similar kidnapping soon. If he succeeds, he might ransom his victim in exchange for dangerous political secrets that could threaten the Republic itself. A General Haradan want to eliminate him before this happens. Our latest information places Zulan on Dan Tarin. He often sells illicit goods to wealthy settlers of that world. His land speeder was spotted near one of the settlers' estates on Dan Tarin. Zulan rarely strays far from his speeder in case he needs to make a quick, quick escape. You should look for him there. My mouth. Is there anything else? Remember, tell no one about this. If there are others with you when you confront Zulan or Logao, make it seem as if you are acting on behalf of the Republic, not the Jenna Haradian. This is all for now. Return to me with you. Yep, whatever. Oh my god, my mouth. So much talking. Oh, ah. Ah, anyway. Uh, right, we don't want to go to Dantooine, but we want to go kill Logao. You've been instructed to kill a Rodian named Logao. He's currently being held as a prisoner in the Republic base on Manan. Lewis has told you to make it look like an accident. What's the Republic base? Um, I don't really know where the Republic base is, to be honest. But it's somewhere. Uh, what's through here? Let's do a bit more exploring before we finish up, though. We need to speak to people about the Star Forge, though. And I may need to get my companions back. Let me see if I can get my companions back. Party selection. You come back. And you come back. Lovely. Welcome back, people. Um, seriously, my mouth. There was so much talking. Atto East. Oh, that's why. I was thinking of Atto. That's why I was thinking of Atto. Because I was thinking of the place. That, that's why. God, I'm an idiot. I am such an idiot. I really, really am. Why, why am I such an idiot? Um, anyway. Um, let's go through the door then. Uh, ooh, hey, this, looks. Oh. this street is for Sith only. 
You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Uh This is a public street. You're hiding behind the cell cap laws. Typical Republic cowardice. Well, at least I didn't have to pay your 20 credits. Alright. But this is a Sith Street then, so. Mm, maybe, may oh, maybe people here might have information about the Star Forge if I'm lucky. Uh. I don't know how much longer I can stay on this world. The cell cap don't make it easy for us awful. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Ooh. Your offer is pretty good. But I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Terrace into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win this war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Ooh, maybe you might have something that I might need. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Oh. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. Uh... I'm not a recruiter. Then why are you bothering me? I'm here on Manan to find work as a mercenary. I'm not here to chat with tourists. I'm not a tourist! I'm trying to find a goddamn map! Swoop registration. <gasps> swoop! Oh, we might have to do some swoop racing here. I think we might. I think we might. <laughs> Greetings to you, off world. Are you here as a spectator, or will we be entering the swoop field as a contender? I'm interested in racing. I'm sure you are. We welcome all races, regardless of professional status. We are trying to maintain a full field of competitors. Of course, with the destruction of Taras, we're in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Our sector champion was one of the casualties there. I won the season opener on Taris. I hesitate to believe that. Sith interference disrupted any holo feed that might have verified your story. We only know that on that all on Taris was lost. You are welcome to prove your skill here, regardless of experience. This, of course, is open to that have the means to participate. 100 credits must be paid for each officially timed attempt you make. Uh, I'm ready to race. We'll do one race and then we'll finish up. Very well, but before we place your swoop into the side position, I must collect the 100 credit fee. Uh, lowering the fee would encourage new racers. I would tend to agree. We already have a number of racers here that are struggling. I'll drop the fee to 50 credits. I'll pay the 50 credits. Very good off -worlder. Now we must determine what time you will be trying to beat. Let's have a look at the standings. Quido is a local favourite, but his, but this won't be much of a race. His swoop simply isn't professionally quality. Time to beat 2382. Banana swoop racing fans, we have a race. Yeah, 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 yeah. I completely forgot how to how to do this. Um. Oh, oh yeah, I've got to do the mouse, don't I? There we go. Oh no 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 no! Oh, come on, come on, come on! I'll beat you! I'll beat you! I've never done the Manan one actually. This is brand new to me because I never did really do sweep racing on Manan because I didn't really know it existed. Ow! No 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 no! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Twenty-three. 24, 25, yeah, 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 I beat 28. Hells yeah. Are you booing me? I don't know, I've got the volume down very low, so I don't know. They're booing me. What? I beat 28, didn't I? Or was it 23? Uh, it was 23, wasn't it? God damn it. That was unfortunate. Your performance was just not very high quality. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll beat it. I'll beat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go away. I'll beat it. It's because I hit something, didn't it? Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go! Come on. And click. Just gotta make sure I don't hit anything. Oh, there we go, and I just hit something. No, nope, not gonna beat it again. Oh come on! I was so close. <laughs> it's because I hit that goddamn thing. Oh, I was better on Taris. I was way better on Taris. Oh yeah, stop booing me. Stop booing me. I don't know why he pants. It's not like he was running or anything. I don't know. Maybe he has constipation, perhaps. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back later. So anyway, we are now on Manan. We are joining a group of bounty hunters. 
for the Republic, which is interesting. We still have no information about the star map, and I suck at swoop racing. Things are going well. Things are going very well. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time. And a farewell to you.